Hey guys, okay, this is cycle two, week eight, and our hands-on science experiment this week, this week is a proportional model of the solar system. There's actually a couple of different ways that we can do this. Um, Lighthouse has sent us some little different size balls in a packet, as well as some marbles that are different shapes. Um, and I'm going to walk you through how to kind of measure this out. But then um, there's also, like I said, a couple of different things that we can do to kind of change it up a little bit. So the instructions or the measurements basically are on the bottom of page 190 in your foundations guide. This is, um, it says how to build a pro proportional, I don't know why I can't say that word, um, proportional solar system outside and outside really is going to be the best place to do it but if we have you know inclement weather we might be able to do it in our hallways so I'm going to double check that this upcoming week and see if we have enough space to do it inside just in case it's raining or something um but what you're going to do is I'm going to go get some beach balls those are going to be our suns and we will set the sun in the farthest corner. Now, the, in, the distance that's measured on page 190 in our foundations guide is in inches. And this is still a really, really great, um, gives the kids a really great idea of how big this thing is. I tried to do this outside on my deck and I could only get to, ne uh, to Uranus. <laughs> Neptune would be in my neighbor's yard. I probably could have done it diagonally, but um, again, we kind of, um, run into like terrain issues. I don't have it at an exactly flat yard. Um, plus, this is another thing to consider. If we do it in the grass instead of in the parking lot, um, some of these balls are going to be a little bit difficult to see if we set them down in the grass. So all of these things are things that we kind of need to think about before we get there and decide how, how we want to do it and set it up. So we could do the measurement in inches in the parking lot for sure. We could probably do it in feet and just have maybe, you know, maybe we could cone off some parking spaces so that people don't park where we would need the space um, to measure it out in feet. I think we have enough space in feet if we use the grass on the other side of the volleyball court um, or the volleyball pit. So those are definitely some different options. If we do it in the grass, whether we use inches or feet, maybe instead of just setting the ball in the gra in the ground or in the grass on the ground, you could have a child be assigned to each um, planet, and then you could measure it out and say, okay, hold your planet here. And then even if you're in the grass or even if it's a huge distance, if you decide to do it in feet, then the kids are going to be able to see their classmates as they're kind of lined up that far that far out. So we'll start with the big, huge beach ball that will be the sun, and it will be bigger than everything else by far. And then the next one is Mercury. Mercury is one of these little bouncy balls. Um, the next one is Venus. Venus is a ping pong ball. These are white. And I just flung it across my, <laughs> my bedroom. Um, these are white, and they will show up better in the grass um, than probably those little bouncy balls. But if we're doing it inside or if we're doing it in the parking lot, they bounce, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> um, so that's Venus. Venus is 10.8 inches or 10.8 feet from the sun. Earth is also a um, ping pong ball, one of the white ones. And then Mars is next. Mars is another bouncy ball. So we have another little bitty one. So um, those are the first four. And then between Mars and Jupiter is when we're gonna be using our marbles. And these are, you know, different sizes. There's a couple of really big ones, and then there's mostly some normal size marbles. And we will just kind of spread those as an asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. And Jupiter is, there are two inflatable balls in this kit. One is smaller than the other one. The big one is Jupiter. Jupiter comes next. And then after Jupiter is Saturn, and that's the other inflatable ball. Um, then after Saturn is Uranus and Neptune, they are both these in these little plastic balls that are bigger than um, ping pong balls, but smaller than the blow up ones. So those are going to be Uranus and Neptune. And again, um, you know, just depending on how you want to lay it out, if you want to do it in inches or in feet, 
or if you want to do it in the parking lot or in the grass, if you want to lay the balls down on the ground or have the kids hold them, these are all different variations that you can decide based on what you think is going to be best for the class that you have. Um, some really great points to have once you kind of get it set up and have them start kind of observing some questions that you can ask or some observations that you can have them make. Start have them um, start having them pay attention to size relative to one another. How much bigger is Jupiter than Earth? How much bigger is Saturn than Earth or Mercury? Um, how much bigger is the sun than those things? Um, Nicole Liam on CC Connected, N-I-C-O-L-E-L-I-E-M, has a pretty neat little sheet in her um, upload on this um, Cycle 2 Week 8 that kind of talks about how many days um, it takes to orbit the sun, which actually that is here in our foundations guide. Um, she also has like relative size and she has some other kind of how many moons, different things like that. She has um, some interesting things that are in addition to what's in our foundations guide. Um, so that might be kind of a fun thing to add on to what they've, what they're already learning this day. Um, in addition, you can have them start trying to how you know can you jump from the sun to mercury can you jump from mercury to um venus can you jump from venus to earth can you you know jump to those different things and then ask them if they know yeah we jump and we can get there but do you know how far that really is um and you can have them you know kind of just start trying to imagine in their mind how far is that really um obviously bigger than even you and I can imagine. So as a, as a little kid, it's just kind of mind boggling how huge and how far away some of these things are, um, but help them start, you know, beginning to understand that. You can also bring in science that we are doing on weeks four and week five. Um, how long is it going to take these planets to orbit the sun if they are close to the sun, if they are further away? Is their year going to be longer or shorter if they're closer to the sun? Um, how much of the sun's gravity is exerted upon these planets? Is Mercury, as the closest planet to the sun, is it going to be receiving more of the sun's gravity or less than Earth? What about Jupiter? What about Uranus? Um, so those are all questions that you can have them ask, ask as well. Now in week 10, we're going to be recreating this on paper. So in a much smaller scale and with beads and paper, and um, I'll give you guys the instructions on that when I do week 10's video, but I think it's week 10. That doesn't sound right all of a sudden. Anyway, in a couple of weeks, um, but you can, in before we get there, have them pop open their science journals and see if they can get an estimated recreation of this proportional solar system solar model. Can they take on a piece of paper or maybe two pieces of paper if they open them and do them side by side um, or top to bottom and go diagonally across? How big is the sun and then how far away are all the planets um, using this model that we have set out today? Um, especially the older kids, I think, would be able to kind of start eyeballing that and putting some estimation behind that. But anything you can do to help them begin to take ownership of the relative distances from the sun and the relative sizes to one another would be really, really great in preparing them for things that they will be doing in the future relative to our solar system. Um, in addition, I have the um, the kit from Lighthouse came with a PDF file that said you could um, print it out and put it on a particular set of labels, but the labels that I have that I think that I think are what they said you should print them on. They don't fit. Um, I've tried. I've tried a couple of different ways, and I can't get them to fit. So instead, I just made little three by five cards and folded them over so they can label each one. Um, each one of the planets. They'll just be little folded like tents, basically that have the planets listed out. Um, also, if you're using the indescribable book, um, some potential. Um, devotions in that book that correlate to this particular week would be on pages 36, 58, 102, pages 123, 134, 160, or 172. So um, those would be some options if you're going to do indescribable. And that is cycle two, week eight. <laughs>